Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY I'll be creating an entryway table with a matching wall clock using craft sticks. If you would like to find out what I created just continue watching. For the first DIY I'll be creating the entryway table and I'll start off with using 5x9 large craft sticks. Next I'll be using drawing paper, a marker and a ruler and I'll start by drawing a square 6x6. To get even and perfect squares, I'll be using this as my guideline when placing my craft sticks. Next, I'll start off with four craft sticks and I'll be placing them on top of the lines overlapping each other. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I'll start gluing them in place. Once that was done, I repeated the same steps a few more times and I made 11 total. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, link below. Next, I'll be bringing back four of my wooden squares and a piece of foam board cut one inch wide and a ruler. Next, I'll take my piece of foam board and I'll place it in the center of the ruler and then I'll take my squares and I'll place it on each side on the bottom and top using the foam board as my spacing. Here, I'm just making sure I have one inch spacing in between. Next, I'll be using a fifth square and I'll glue it in the center. Because it's made out of wooden craft sticks, it's very strong. Next, I'll be repeating the same steps using my foam board and my squares and I'll be gluing them in place as I go. Next, I'll be gluing another square in the center to hold them all together in place. Next, I'll repeat the same steps one more time. Here I went back with my glue gun just to make sure that everything is glued down in place. I repeated the same steps three more times for a total of four. And in case you're wondering, they stand 27 inches long. Next, I'll be making homemade Mod Podge using school glue and water. All I did was use half a school glue, half of water, mixed it well until it's nice and creamy. Next, I took my homemade Mod Podge and I applied it on top of the entire frame and then let it dry. I repeated the same steps on the next three 
and this will give it a metallic glossy finish when it's time to spray paint. Next, I took all four pieces to a well ventilated area and spray painted two coats of metallic silver. And as you can see, it has a metallic finish. Next, I took three rolls of diamond wrap and I'll be gluing it on the squares only in the center. I repeated the same steps three more times on the remaining frames. Next I'll be using a small cardboard box and I'll be using just the center and I'll cut off the remaining sides using my box cutter. I repeated the same steps three more times for a total of four and I also will be using the size that I cut off from the box. Here I'll be placing the size that I cut off from the cardboard and I'll be placing them on top of the cardboard sheet and then I'll be cloning them in place. I'll be repeating the same steps two more times. I repeated the same steps twice and I made two, one for the top and bottom part of my table and if you can see it's very thick and strong. I'll be covering the edges using painter's tape and I'll repeat the same steps on the second one. Next, I'll be using strong foam board and I'll just cover one side of one of my boards. Once I had the size of my foam board, I'll be gluing it on top of my cardboard sheet. Once I was done, I'll be covering both boards with marble vinyl contact paper. And yes, now you can find all kinds of contact paper at Dollar Tree. For the top of the table, I'll be covering both sides of the board. And for the bottom part of the table, I'll just be covering one side. Next, I took four wooden rods that I purchased from Walmart and I covered them with mirror reflection paper. Next, I'll take my wooden rod and I'll place it a half inch from the edge and then I'll trace it to have my placements and I'll repeat the same steps on all four corners.
And to hold the rods in place, I'll be adding two 2 inch nails on each rod, top and bottom. I also glued on diamond wrap on the top edges and bottom edges as well. Next, I'll start attaching my grids and I apply hot glue to hold them in place and then I went back with a hammer and two inch nails on all four to hold them in place. I purchased a six pack of LED remote touch lights that come with batteries and a remote and I'll be using two for this project and they're very easy to use. Just unsnap the back and place the batteries in. And the self adhesive part is also a magnetic plate. You could also set the lights to four different colors, the colors of your choice. I took both lights and attached them to the inside upper part of my table. For my second DIY, I'll be making a wall clock and I'll start off by using 12 wooden squares. I have a design in mind, so I'll start by positioning them in place, overlapping each other until I get to the bottom, and then I'll go back and glue them in place. Once I glued them in place, I went back with my homemade Mod Podge and covered the whole entire frame. Once it was dry, I spray painted two coats of metallic silver. Once it was dry, I glued on diamond wrap on every other square. Next, I purchased this wall clock from Walmart. Instead of taking it apart, I'm just going to cover the front part and then I'm going to spray paint two coats of metallic silver. Once it was dry, I removed the paper and I glued on five rows of diamond wrap around the sides. I also glued on a single row of diamond wrap around the edges. Next, I took my wall clock and I placed it in the center of my grid and I applied the hot glue just by lifting the wall clock up and applying the glue. This clock uses one AA battery and to hang it, I'll be using the hole that comes on the clock. I really do love the way this table turned out and the wall clock to go with it. It's very chic and glam and it's the perfect entryway table and wall clock for that entryway in your home. The doll that you see on the entryway table is Glinda the Good Witch from Wicked and that is one of my creations from my earlier YouTube days. I'll have that video linked below. I would like to take this opportunity to give a very special thank you to all those who have reached out to me in my three months absence. It has been a long, hard road and a journey, but I'm here to stay. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. And what can we say about the beautiful lighting and shimmering? And now you know popsicle sticks known as craft sticks are not only for ice cream they can be used to make beautiful home decor.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoyed creating it. Now don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.